Number 35, a 2.5 meter diameter university communication satellite dish receives TV signals that have a maximum electric field strength of 7.5 microvolts per meter. What is the intensity? All right, so we've seen this before, right? Formula that relates intensity to electric field is going to be intensity that equals the uh, speed of light multiplied by the permittivity of free space multiplied by the maximum electric field strength squared, all then divided by 2. So to find the intensity, all we got to do is plug in these values. These are all constants except for the electric field. All right. And then the electric field they told us was in microvolts, but you know we need that in volts. So take the 7.5 times 10, and multiply it, or raise it to the negative 6. Don't forget to square it. Divide that whole thing then by 2. All right. And here we go. So 3 times 10 to the 8, multiplied by 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Multiply by 7.5 times 10 to the minus 6 squared, all then divided by 2. So here we go, 7.47 7 times 10 to the minus 14 uh, watts per meter squared. All right, that would then be the intensity. All right, so that takes care of letter A. What do we have coming up for letter B? So what is the power received by the antenna? So power, okay, power is simply going to be now. So it depends on how we want to uh, calculate this, right? So in order to find the power, what we need to know, so consider this, that we need the intensity, okay? And then the power is simply going to be now the, uh, or I should say intensity is equal to power over the area. So what we need to know is we need to know the area. So what's the area of the figure? So they told us the diameter, and we know that the dish is basically like a hemisphere, right? So we already talked about this, that the area of a hemisphere is going to be equal to 2 pi r squared. So um, what we need to do here in order to find then, uh, again, remember it's asking for the power, right? So we need to know intensity and area. Intensity we just found over here, and that's what we're now looking for is the area. That's simply going to be equal to 2 pi now multiplied by the radius here. Uh, so that's half, right? 1.25 squared. And then let's just calculate it just so we get a number, okay? So 2 pi times then uh, 1.25 squared. So we get a value of about 9.8. 9.8, uh, you know, two-ish or so. All right, so now cross multiply these two terms and power is then going to equal the intensity multiplied by the area. The intensity we just solved for was 7.47 times 10 to the minus 14th. And the area here was 9.82. So just multiply them, all right? So what do we get? We get about 7.33 times 10 to the minus 13th and that's in terms of watts, okay? That's the power. And then letter C now, it's saying if the orbiting satellite broadcasts uniformly over an area of this, how much power, okay, how much power uh, does it radiate, right? So how much power does it radiate? So again, we need to basically do the same calculation. The, the intensity is what is staying constant, okay? The intensity from the satellite staying constant, though, but the power distributed now over this larger area is changing, all right? So in other words, that power will be equal to the intensity multiplied by the area. The intensity is the same thing, 7.47 times 10 to the minus 14th, but now the area has changed, all right? So here's now the total area. This is 1.5 times 10 to the 13th. So just plug that stuff into the calculator, all right? And let's see what we get. All right, times then 1.5 times 10 to the 13th. Then we get a value here of about 1.12. All right, so 1.12 uh, watts. That's the intensity. Excuse me, power. <laughs> Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. All right, I look forward to helping you out with more problems. See you soon.